Hey guys, just a quick warning before this video starts. Uh, I'm not the smartest guy in the world with this stuff, but I try. I'm having fun with the art, so there's probably some errors, some omissions, some missteps. Probably said some things wrong, but in the end, I had fun, made some cool art, and maybe you learned something. Talk to you in a minute. Hey guys, it's Mike coming to you live from my inside oasis, uh, my closet this week. Hey, here's what I want to talk about this week. Ex we're going to talk about experimental photography, things that I'm trying to do uh, with these old cameras. I'm not reviewing a camera, but we're going to talk about something cool I'm trying to do. And uh, we're going to see how it turns out. So, uh, 4x5, gray flex camera. I've got a video where I review one and talk about it. All the feedback is, you're a dummy and you don't know what you're talking about. You're right. Okay. Cool. Thanks for watching. But, let's talk about these guys. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm tired of shooting just regular old 4x5 large format stuff in this. I mean, you know, come on. It's cool, but it's not super cool. So, we're going to go super cool on this one. And we're going to try something fun. Okay. I've been thinking about this a lot and I'm trying to figure out like how to do this and I want to shoot some photos where I use different different types of film in here in the same shot and how are you gonna do that I'm not gonna cut a bunch of 4x5 strips easiest thing to do is use this so 35 millimeter film whoop, 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 right you can put a couple of those on there so what I've done is let me just pull this down. Let's just go this way. <clears throat> okay, let's look at this. Okay, so here's what I did. I uh, I marked up on this this little cutting board here the distance that I needed to fill under here. And it's not just like the typical distance. It's actually the distance where you have to be able to put the film under the slide. So you can see on right here, you can see hopefully, let me get that down there. You can see that there is a little metal lip that holds the camera or holds the film in the holder and there's one on both sides so you have to be able to cut it to that. So I measured this out to the correct uh, length here and I marked it and I tried it with a roll of film and I ruined about half a roll of film trying this out. Anyways, so I did this. Well, why do I need all these guides and everything? I'm doing it. Where am I? In the dark. Okay. So when you're doing this in the dark, you got to be able to do this where you could feel everything and you know where everything is and you just bump this thing up there against that. You ran this thing down, cuts the film, perfect length, put it down, right? Pick up your slide. As I was showing a second ago, fish this in. Make sure you have the emulsion in the right direction. Fish this in go all the way down uh, I found that when I went all the way down I can go all the way to here and uh, you can get four across you're gonna get obviously you know because of where it's at and, and because of this thing here you're gonna get a little bit of cut off but you get that on your four by fives anyways so um, but it goes in there here's a couple caveats let me just put this back over here all right so this is the most poorly shot tutorial video in the history of tutorial videos. Okay, so you add these in there, right? So you have all four. Here's the here's the challenge. You gotta make sure you have these precisely cut, which is why you keep a pair of these in here, in case you need to do a little trimming in the dark just to kind of feel it in there. I had, um, I filled up both sides of this, so I cut eight pieces of film, and in the process, I only had one of those pieces of film, they got a little wonky, and when I got say it got a little wonky, like it bubbled in the middle. So, why does that matter? Well, when you're putting the slide in in the dark, it really doesn't matter, because, you know, if you're like, oh, well, it bubbled, let me push it down. Oh, well, that's going to be a problem, because when you're putting this back in the camera later after you shoot it, you've got to be able to just slide this thing back in. So, there was some challenges with getting these in there. Uh, and getting them precise, but uh, I think over time 
you know, I'll get better. This was my first go with this at doing this, this process and putting these in here. So I'm going to get like an ultra sprocket rocket picture. That's going to have so many sprocket holes. It's going to be annoying. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to experiment later. Uh, I've got to get some more 35 millimeter film in ordered some today. I need to get, I want to do color black and white, different, different, uh, ISOs, different speeds and everything just to kind of like give it some like really cool thing going on. Originally, I'll be honest with you, when I first thought about this, as I was thinking about it a lot for like a month, I wanted to do it this way, which would work for the top piece and the bottom piece, but it won't work for the middle piece. So I'd have to figure out some kind of really thin, sticky contact paper that I could stick the film on to then shove it in there. The problem is, man, these things are really thin. These little, these little grooves for putting film in are really thin. Uh, you'll notice even if you like buy a really old expired film, it's a little bit thicker and it, man, it's sometimes it's hard to get them in here, especially on these old ones that I have. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. Just trying to experiment, check out some different things. I'm going to try to show some, some pictures here in just a second. Uh, but I got to go shoot those and then develop. So who knows how long it's going to be before I get there. See you in a little bit. Hey guys. Um, it's like a couple weeks later. It's during the whole COVID quarantine. I haven't left the house in a while. Hair's a mess. Beard's a mess. Life's a mess. Whatever. So, I shot two shots uh, to test this thing out. And about to close everything up and do my developing. And uh, we'll see how this turns out. So, wish me luck. Okay, guys. So, here's my color setup. Um, so I put it in these just water bottles so I can squeeze the air out when uh, I'm not using them to keep the air out and then I use a sous vide uh, set it to the right temperature just in a water bath and uh, roll with it okay all done developing uh, so as you can see got the uh, awesome Ikea film hanger whatever the hell it's called I don't know anyways here, here's the here's the short pieces that were loaded into uh, the 35 millimeter here's the normal length of a 36 exposure anyways drawing overnight we'll see what happens tomorrow when I scan a couple of days later here we are scanning so I don't know, I've got like a messy desk here, working from home, full time. Here's the negatives. Um, I threw them down onto a, uh, under some books for about a week to really get them flat. That's the only way I can get these things flat. And here's why. So, in my scanner, which I have a, let's see if I can get to this where you can see it. Epson uh, V6 hundred photo scanner so here's what that looks like so you have to put it I have to put it in the 120 um, negative slot and then use that little piece of card uh, that comes with it to hold it down so obviously when I picked it up uh, I pulled it out but you know it's barely hanging into that so uh, I have to try to get these as flat as possible because you want the uh, I'm trying to get the sprockets on the side so I can't put them in my traditional 35 millimeter uh, holder so that is what comes with it as a 35 millimeter holder and it holds them down like absolutely perfectly and I'm probably not going to be able to get you to where you can see that oh no you can so that's what the scan looks like that's the initial scan I, I gotta throw these in Photoshop clean them up do some stuff with them obviously there's like some color correction stuff I gotta take care of there but that's it so far. We'll see here in a minute if there's any uh, cool stuff I can show you in Photoshop. So when they wrote the book Photoshop for Dummies, they wrote that book about me, for me, to me, I don't know. I'm not going to try to show you guys any Photoshop tricks. I am horrible at Photoshop, but I can do some bare bones stuff. You can see there's the end result there. I'll show you a better picture here in a minute. Uh, but basically what you got to do, uh, you, you scan in your negatives. 
uh, at the beginning of this film, uh, or this video, I talked about uh, using four strips wide. What I found after I put the four strips in is that um, it was hard to get the slide back in with the fourth one in there, so I just took it out. So I ended up only going with three, uh, three strips of negatives wide, and it seems to work well uh, in the 4x5. I mean, there's obviously some room on the other sides of these things to where I could get a little bit, little bit more in the picture. Also, if you notice, um, you can kind of see in there, let's see if I can point backwards behind me. You can see the gaps here are a little different between the two. So it appears once I got those 35 millimeters in there and then just having them jostle around in my bag and like movement and stuff, they, they moved apart from each other because I, I butted them up against each other, like just solid. So I think through that process of, of just moving around and shooting and so forth, there's like some gaps that are going to happen there. Uh, so you're not going to be able to get it right up next to each other. Uh, well, at least I couldn't in this first one. This is the very first shot I've done with this. So that first one that you saw in the beginning of this video where I loaded this thing in, uh, the film into this, and then I went outside and I took two shots this one and then there's one other shot that I haven't scanned in and done anything with but um, th these are the first two uh, and then I ran through I used some chemicals that are super old color chemicals to develop the other night just to get it done because I wanted to and um, so you can see it's kind of faded but I bet there's a better process uh, a better way for me to process the film uh, get some better chemicals and things like that really pay a lot more attention to that process uh, throughout this. But yeah, that's that's what it looks like. Uh, I think it looks cool as hell. Uh, it's very different. Um, the Photoshop, the hard part, again, the hard part in the Photoshop aspects of this is lining these things up, straightening, getting them straight, and then you're going to have to kind of eyeball it, draw some imaginary lines, uh, you know, between like his shoulders and things like that to get the actual curve of his shoulders and not get the... The, the picture too squished up um, and you're gonna have to really pay attention because of where the sprockets lie and everything if you're shooting a face you're really gonna have to pay attention to your guidelines in uh, your 4x5 and your view uh, to make sure that you have them in the right place uh, so you can capture their face the other one that I have that I haven't actually developed I just looked at the negatives the the line goes right through the middle of his face and uh, it 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 eats up a lot of image uh, with the sprockets. It's kind of crazy how much image is lost um, with that space there. So anyways, that's what I did. That's how I did it. Uh, I'll throw the actual picture after I get done with this up. Uh, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on this. And uh, if you do it, uh, shoot tag me, man. Shoot me a video uh, of you doing the same process. Shoot the images. I'd love to see them and learn from them. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this. I think this is a lot of fun. Back to what I talked about at the very beginning of this video. I really want to do this with different kinds of film. So uh, the next one's probably going to be a combination of color and black and white. Um, just natural. Just to see what it does. Um, and do some fun stuff with it. So without further ado, guys, go be awesome. Go shoot film. And uh, have a great time. Be safe. Be healthy. Uh, wash your hands. Wear a mask. Do all that stuff for the COVID-19 stuff that's going on. And, uh, you know, get out there and have fun, guys. Talk to you later.